Saying he was an All-American and a record-setting track star for the Ohio State Buckeyes before Parkinson's disease slowed him. But it has not stopped him. Scott Ryder is now in a different kind of race. This one is taking him across the country for Parkinson's research. And we are so excited to tell you that Scott is joining us live this morning from the Ohio Health Neuroscience Wellness Center. Scott, thank you so much for this. You are working to be part of a documentary called Parkinson's Across America. Can you tell us about that? I am, thanks, and good morning. Yeah, myself and Jim Morgan, a good friend of mine, we both have Parkinson's disease, both diagnosed 16 years ago. Um, we are traveling coast to coast, capturing stories of all different aspects of people with Parkinson's disease, caretakers, innovators, physicians, and today brings us to um, one of the best facilities in the United States of America, Ohio Health. We're excited to be here. Well, we know that all of this is very personal to you. You hold the OSU record in the 800 meter. What can you tell us about that moment 16 years ago when you were diagnosed? Um, I can tell you that it uh, changed my life forever. I could take you to the spot on the sidewalk where my wife embraced me and I cried mm. um, when I received that diagnosis because I knew that my life was changed forever. But I also tell you, I cried momentarily and I realized, you know what, I'm going to be part of the solution and try to do everything I can to bring awareness to Parkinson's disease. And we certainly know that you have done that. And of course, we have this documentary that's going to bring more people to understand what's happening here. Can you talk a little bit about what you hope the people who see this film will take away from it? Yeah, our hope about the film is um, really two words, hope and encouragement. Um, we want people all across the nation to realize that if you're diagnosed with Parkinson's, it's not the end of your life. Mm -hmm. It's the beginning of a new life, a different life. But there's plenty of reasons to have hope and encouragement. Um, additionally, we want to just bring awareness to the fact that somebody's diagnosed with Parkinson's disease every nine minutes in the United States. That's staggering. It's one of the fastest neurodegenerative diseases. Its rate of um, advancement um, is just staggering. Um, and we have to do something about it in this country because it's, um, it's impacting people's lives. It's impacting the economy. And, um, but I got to tell you, there's some great things going on, including mm -hmm. right here at Ohio Health with Dr. Hinkle some trials and different programs. So there is hope and encouragement. And those are the things we want to communicate to people all across the country and really all across the world. Let's talk just real quickly before we let you go, Scott, about um, being at Ohio Health and how that has helped you. What, uh, what are some of those things that you think folks should know about the work they're doing there? Well, I think maybe the most important thing that I would say from a personal standpoint, and really it translates to anybody that's dealing with a movement disorder, Parkinson's disease, you know, I was born and raised in Columbus, Ohio. I went to Hilliard High School. And a few years ago, I moved to South Carolina. But if this tells you anything, I, I still come here to Ohio, Ohio Health. Mm -hmm. My a movement disorder physician is Dr. Andrea Malone. And I do that because there is no better quality of care anywhere in the nation. Um, they're on the cutting front. Dr. Hinkle and his team, they're amazing, the things they're doing. I'd like to say that if you have to have Parkinson's disease, there's probably no better place to have it than Columbus, Ohio because of all the services from exercise to the trials that are going on at Ohio Health to the facilities, the beautiful facility I'm in right now, this place is amazing. Mm -hmm. So there's plenty of tools to help people battle this disease right here locally at Ohio Health. Well, Scott, we are so glad that you could join us uh, to talk about this morning. We certainly wish you the best on your journey and uh, that you would continue to be strong. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, Tracy.